Right, everything will know. It's, it's never yet. So today I just wanted to let you all know. Um, after receiving one of my Iceland deliveries there, um, from one of the drivers, apparently um, there's been some some sort of shocking, which I can't fucking believe what you're telling me. There's been stabbings and yeah, ro almost complete fucking blind robberies of Tesco drivers and as as does not as does, no and. Iceland, sorry. Um, yeah, stabbings. And I thought, well, I thought, well, is he being fucking serious? I was like, well, because he said to me, oh, I can't um, like, come upstairs because um, on another second lift. I said, oh, then my place on the lift. And um, they mentioned, oh, I can't come upstairs because then there's been like, stabbing and stuff like that. But when you go went to great detail, I was just like, fucking Christ, or like, what? Yeah, and he works for Iceland. And I think myself, well, whichever is in it, and then he mentioned, one he mentioned was South Bank, and I thought, well, that doesn't fucking surprise me in the slightest. So when I asked about the age, um, I was like, oh, really? Yeah. So if I remember, I think he said about 17 to 14. And I was thinking to myself, well, well, one of my body cameras. Because he mentioned that one of them did have one. And I said, well, what we, why can't I send, I put like a new policy in place and get everybody, every fucking staff, to actually have one? And the basically way I can sort of understand what he meant is that all the company wouldn't even fork out. And I explained to him, I was like, mate, I used to have a body cam myself. Because Literally used to call me a fucking pedophile. But they're going to add to sell it because due to what happened. But now, um, due to the dramatic increase of fucking crime, people just going, it's not going to go small, people. The crime is going up and up and up. People like myself who are disabled, but not fully disabled, are vulnerable. We're basically like targets. Like, Ringing like a door, ringing like a door, a door bell, ringing like a dinner bell for us to get attacked. For no fucking reason. Because they fucking cunts think that they're so clever people that they can do what they fucking please. And believe me, whatever they fucking please, oh, trust me, people, uh, through me, uh, they're totally wrong. Because don't forget, I strangled one. Yes, for self defence. And I swear down, if I see him again, he'd be on the dead list. Because that's what I did. As a warning. But now my patients have basically gone up the fucking window. I have, I still have zero taunts. Because I will protect anybody. If somebody who's innocent, and I know for a fact, 100% no, they're not a paedophile, or anything like that, I will attack that person, just to defend them. I don't care if it was an adult, I wouldn't care if it was a fucking kid. I will swear to fucking God in my life, I will happily just do it. Because people like myself, people, as you already know, I've been called a pedophile, and you've seen the videos where I've been called a pedophile in Asda. And honest to God, I wish I could read my back down time, reading, you know, back time, to the point where I could just snap that kid's neck and kill him because boy how much relief of anger that would have just gone out of my system and how much relief of joy and excitement knowing that that's one bastard killed out of the fucking world because we don't need fucking twat kids like them dick and cunts acting cocky saying paedophile towards people who are not a paedophile but again we all know for a fact, people don't care. It's act now, think later. Yeah, think later, knowing that that fucking person you just attacked was an innocent fucking bystander, you fucking twats. But no, you're too much of a, a psychopath, a little twat, thinking this person is a paedophile. When they're fucking not. What proof do you fucking have? Do you read the fucking newspapers? Do you watch fucking TV with your bonnet like fucking eyes? No, you fucking don't. 
It's like me. I don't go around fucking attacking someone who I think who believes to be a paedophile. I'll never do that. And if there are, I'll probably just call the police and just let them know where they are to make sure they do not go towards children and to make sure both the children, that person, is safe from harm. But I will never attack those people. Not at all. Because then it means that I'll get done for common salt. But when it comes to the opposite way of you being, you being an innocent bystander and someone shouts to you, Pedophile, and someone comes to warn you, who the fuck is the going to defend you? Well, nobody, of course, unless there's people like me in this fucking country who's, who's more than happy to take the plunge of a hit. Yeah. But yeah, people, I just wish I had an opportunity to kill that twat kid who called me the pedophile. And yes, don't worry, people, I know what school he went to. He goes to the naughty school. I know what he was wearing. And I still got his full image unblurred for all to see. I don't care if two fucks what YouTube's policy is because why should the law allow them to fucking twats to get away with it? What, because what is it? Oh, they didn't know what they're doing? Absolutely fucking bullshit, people. You know, it's just an excuse. It's just like, how can I put it? It's just like me. I would go around and start stabbing people. Oh, why do you do it for? Oh, because I'm disabled. And again, people, it's an excuse, but no, 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 no. I'm disabled, so I should be all right to keep it kill, kill, kill. No. I know my rights and wrongs to a certain extent. I've done things in the past which I totally regret because I cried for help, but unfortunately enough, what I did, the damage has all been done. But what I did, people, I will not say in this fucking video, nor in any of my videos, because I've got the help I need for these people, so I wouldn't discuss about it. But anyway, back to the topic, yep. Yeah. I feel sorry for these fucking people just being stabbed and attacked from twat kids like them. It's absolutely disgusting. It makes me sick. And especially underage kids who will think the cocking cover, because it's like, the thing it's just like a video game. Oh, don't we? They're coming back to life. Whoops, it is, eh? No, you've just been done for murder. Yes, murder. Or attempted murder. Or any way you want to say it, people. Either way, they don't fucking care. Because it's Balaclava's huts up just to cover their face and identity and then get the knives out and go stab, stab, stab. Poor little victim, poor family in grief. And there's the little kid just runs off and that little pussy. Mummy, mummy, the police are chasing me. Oh, it's too bad. Because I hope one day, if I see you do that, people, I'll be the person who kills you. Trust me in that. I can guarantee my word on that I will kill you if I found you calling somebody a pedophile. Because I will not hurry. That sort of word in public. And just because you're a kid does not mean you won't stop me. Because the law won't stop me. Because I tell the judge I will happily do it again once you release me. Until you change your fucking law. It won't stop. And don't forget, there's not people like me who's going to not tolerate it. We will fucking defend ourselves, no matter the cost. It means we have to take physical ways like violence to stop them like calling us pedophiles but for me i went from ignoring them to thought well fuck them i'm going to kill them but then i thought oh if i do i get done for murder which i thought to myself do you know what people it wouldn't bother me in the slightest because i believe in a way that everybody including yourself people who are watching this video has every fucking right to defend yourself, no matter the cost. It's your body, you have the right to decide what actions you think is ideal for your situation. If it's murder or not. It's entirely up to you. Remember, if your life's at risk, how would you defend yourself? You know, I'd just love to know how you defend yourself, people, because it's interesting to know what others can do. So yeah.